Of course, we want to be respected and liked, but when you can only choose one, is it better to be respected or to be liked? Hi everyone, Antoinette here. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to give you four reasons why it's always better if you can only have one to be respected than it is to be liked. Ironically, I have a lot of clients that will talk to me about their need and their desire to be liked, whether it's from people that they lead professionally or people in their personal life. And when I ask them the question, what is more important to you, to be respected or to be liked? They always, without hesitation, say, well, to be respected. But sometimes it's so hard to make that distinction. The first difference between the two is being liked feels good in the short term, but being respected feels good in the long term. Think about it. Whenever you are doing something or saying something to be liked by someone, it feels good. You feel those endorphins of the other person liking and being happy about what you're saying or doing. It's just short term. Let me ask you a question. Do you have people in your life who you like, but when it comes to respecting them, you don't really respect them? And I bet when you think about those people, they're in your life, but they're probably not super close to you. You probably don't consider them in your close inner circle because you're lacking that respect for them. I love what Charlie Halpert said. Charlie is the author of Charisma on Command and has a YouTube channel called Charisma on Command. He says what wins people's respect is not always what they like in the moment. So once again, think long-term. If it really is that you're wanting to develop a relationship with this person long-term, then respect is going to be so much more important than always trying to be liked. The second difference between the two is when you're always trying to be liked versus being respected, you are being a people pleaser, meaning you're going to do whatever it takes to gain somebody's approval, to keep somebody happy, to make sure that nobody's mad, to make sure that everybody is in agreement and doing whatever you think it is that they want you to do or say or not do or say. And what happens is when people realize this, then they know that they can take advantage of you. It is hard to not take advantage of people pleasers. And I'm trying to say here is it's not just the mean, greedy, selfish people who take advantage of people pleasers. It's human nature. And when you're a people pleaser, it is exhausting because you're never going to be able to please 100% of the people 100% of the time. So no matter how hard you try, it's not going to work. And you're going to probably be the one that's having sleepless nights trying to figure out how to keep everyone happy when it's just not possible. Now, if you're liking this video, I hope you'll press the like button and I hope you'll subscribe to my channel for more videos all about confidence, communication, and interaction with other people. The next difference between being respected and being liked is when you're doing everything to be liked, you're not quite sure how the other person really truly feels about you as a person. Are you just doing and saying the things that they like and they don't really appreciate you as a person? However, when you are being respected and the person still wants to spend time with you, then you know it's because of your character. It's because they do respect you and they value you as a person. Here's a personal example that I'm not too proud to share, but I'm going to go ahead and do it anyway, because to me, it totally applies in this situation. After I became an adult and I was working, my parents who lived in the same city as me, they would ask me to go to dinner with them, or sometimes I would take trips with them, and they expected me to pay my way. And I should be paying my way. I was out there working. Well, they could have afforded it. It would have been no big deal at all for them to pick up the check, but they chose to not do that. They expected me to pay my own bills, to pay my own way. And secretly, deep down, I respected them for it because then they knew that I really wanted to spend time with them versus I was just going to spend time with them because I was going to get a free meal or I was going to get a free vacation. They knew that I really valued them as people. And it didn't make me doubt their love or their care for me. It just, to me, was a sign of respect. 
And next, and this is really the most important one of all, and that is whenever you do and say things just to be liked versus being respected, then you're really wearing an invisible sign on your forehead that says, I really don't respect myself. You don't have the self-respect because you are basically giving up your self-respect in order to be liked by others. And when you think about it, the absence of self-respect is really a truly unattractive quality. Ever met anyone that you really valued that didn't respect themselves? What happens in that situation is a lot of times you start feeling bad for the other person because they don't respect themselves. So the next time you're at the crossroads and you have to choose, is it more important to be liked or be respected? Always go with it's more important to be respected. I hope that you've enjoyed this video and I hope you'll share it with someone that it might be helpful for. Thanks for watching.